My lords, ladies and gentlemen, it's profile time. Now, this week is Paul Jewell's birthday. <laughs> but that's not why we're here. <laughs> All right, because someone else has a birthday this week, don't they, Jim? Loads yeah. of people will. Get on that, Beamer. Yeah. Um, more specifically, Roma's greatest ever player, Francesco Cafu. Totti. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't hijack I'm it. I'm only joking. Francesco um, Totti, eh? There you go. Born on the 27th of September, 1976. Nine years after the summer of love. After that summer. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Roma's greatest ever player. Are we happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Mm, yeah. Definitely. Good. Then we can continue. He does hold the uh, the records for the most appearances and most goals for Roma. So shove that up your what's it for yeah. starters with a rusty one. <laughs> exactly. His nicknames include the Golden Boy, the Big Baby. <laughs> um, Is that because he always sucks his thumb when he scores? Yeah, maybe. Mm, or yeah. was that a reaction to it? Who knows? Do you yeah. remember? I, know, I don't want to jump the gun too much, but when he scored after his baby was born and he put the football up his shirt yeah, and yeah. gave birth to it and held it up. Yeah, yeah. That Up there, great. I'm going to stick my neck out here and say top five celebrations of, of all time. Yeah. The placenta was a bit much, though, to be yeah, fair. Was, I yeah. don't even know where he got that it, from. He held it for ages okay. <laughs> in a jar. Uh, we can <laughs> skip that bit now when, when we come to it. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Gladiator as well is another oh, nice. But that, yeah, standards though from Rome and all the rest of it. Um, the David Beckham of Italy. Any excuse to shoehorn it in. <laughs> Any excuse. Getting weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am the David Beckham of B Jam. Just stack those fucking boxes, Paul. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, uh, people often ask footballers, what would you be if you weren't a footballer? Well, Totti was asked this and uh, by uh, journalist James Horncastle, and he said, if I hadn't have been a footballer, I would have liked to have become a petrol pump assistant. <laughs> when I was little, it was wonderful to smell the petrol fumes and see those guys handle so much money. Just buy a can of petrol. Yeah. 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 Well, thankfully, he had you, a bit more ambition you, and talent. You, you almost certainly earn more now than you would have done <laughs> had you, you become a petrol pump assistant. Can you get drug tested for huffing petrol? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying it like he almost, he's looking forward to doing that when he retires. <laughs> yeah. Like he's aspiring to that. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's to settle for being a footballer. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just a stopgap. It's not really a career. I really want to be a petrol pump assistant. Yeah. <laughs> Glow sniffer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as, as a child, he slept with the ball, apparently. How um, do footballers do that? Like that's John not... Burridge. Yeah, they put John Burridge, yeah. yeah. Um, he used to, yeah, apparently. Is that perhaps the only place where the two are comparable <laughs> um, but uh, anyway so Totti joined the uh, youth setup at Roma in 1989 apparently Milan offered him um, a lucrative contract around this time but his mother said no you're playing for your local team your hometown yeah. which fortunately was Roma yeah. 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 Um, and thus Totti didn't go up north to the Rossinari in 1993 he didn't made go his... up north to Milan yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he... down the mill <laughs> to Milan, Milan. Milan. Yeah. yeah like in your work yeah it works um, <laughs> 1993 he made his Roma debut age 16 scored Got his first senior goal for the club in '94. Um, Gosh, it took an awful long time ago. Now, an awful long time ago. Yeah. Um, now, after he scored his first goal for Roma, he said he had dreamt many times of uh, that moment and trying to come up with the way with, uh, to celebrate. And he said, instead, after I scored, I didn't know what to do. When I got home, the only thing I could think about was being hungry. So I went out with my brother and got an ice cream. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Is that really relevant? nice? That, that's, it sort of reminds me of when Rooney scored his first goal for Everton and then was went out and celebrated by going to play with his mates on his BMX. Yeah. Because he was around like 16. Yeah. yeah. It's quite it's isn't sweet. It? Isn't yeah. his brother, he's got a twin brother, isn't he, that's also his agent, I think. Oh, is that right? Oh, right, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, speaking of which, I totally forgot this. I used to play and uh, for... What we Guildford Saints in Surrey, and yeah. we had a lad on our team. It's not your profile. Hang on a minute. Guildford Saints, <laughs> which was our theme tune. Ooh, and the, a lad who used to play fullback was Totty's stunt double for all the adverts. Was, was he a good player? Yeah, yeah he, was, he was quite decent. But he used yeah. to go all over the. You hope so, wouldn't you? All over the world, um, Totty's stunt double. Good. I feel like I met the man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, he was predominantly a, a striker, or a, sort of a second striker, but also kind of an attacking midfield player. But his position changed over the years. I think we can agree. Yeah. But I think even now, Totty. It's not that his position changed as much, it's just that he can change it at will. You know, he's just yeah. really good in a lot of different positions. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the game changed, so he had to adapt, though. So well, Marcello Lippi said that there's no alternatives for Totti. No one else can play Totti's position. Well, yeah, it's, it's difficult to... I mean, because, like you say, he is a slightly different player now to what, to what he was. But, I mean, those, those sort of players have been sort of phased out anyway, haven't they? To, in Europe, they have, anyway, to a certain extent. Not on not the big man. No, true, yeah. 35 still going strong. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. I mean, it, um... 
he he's played out on the wing sometimes up front on his own second striker but it shows he's very tactically aware mm, but yeah. even as a second striker he'll come and get the ball yeah won't he? I think he'll people, still be bringing other people utility in. man a utility man <laughs> I think people think that he's quite a lazy player at times but actually he's he's vital he's not a luxury player no 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 the, well, the classic example of him being a um, being a team player is in World Cup 2006 yeah, well, well he, he didn't. He scored one goal, I think. That was a penalty. Penalty, but he didn't do an awful. But he, he really worked hard for the team. I think yeah. he had the most assists at that World Cup. Oh, there you go. So it just like, bears that out. Yeah. Oh, when he booted Balotelli in the back of the leg. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> that, was, that was a bad moment in the man's career. Um, a well. good moment in his career. Ninety nine, he scored a late winner in the Rome derby, and he celebrated by lifting up his shirt with um, a t-shirt under it, which uh, said, uh, "I've purged you guys again." <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so I think it's quite nice. <laughs> um, of course, which would have endeared him immediately to the Roma fans. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, of course, you mentioned the um, the pregnant celebration. Yeah. Um, he was named Young Player of the Season in ninety eight. But it was, I suppose it was Euro 2000 that, that we got to see him on the big stage in, uh, and the, the world got to see what a great player he was. He, he sums up sort of post-football Italia, Ital Italian football for me. Yeah. <laughs> Post-James Richardson, P... PR PJR <laughs> PJR yeah PJR yeah good word maths <laughs> okay. um, I'll continue uh, obviously Italy finished second at that World Cup he scored a couple en route to the final do you remember the penalty shooter against Holland in the semi-final when he I think it was the decisive kick Massive pressure In the uh, Ajax arena Little Dinker Little Dinker Yeah that's <laughs> Outrageous but He did that again And, he, and it got saved did you remember? He? Yeah, he did it. I can't. I can't. Oh, was that a Serie A game? Yeah, yeah. And he tried the dinker, and the, the, the keeper knew exactly what he was yeah. doing, and he just stood there, and yeah. caught it in his hand. First rule of dink is for the dinko penalty. The first rule is have a massive pair of bollocks. The second rule is <laughs> never go back. Never do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He does love a chip in general, though, doesn't he, Totti? Well, he does, the, the chip like he scored special move. against yeah. Lazio yeah. when they yeah. hammered him five. Mm. The, I think it was the last goal of the game. Glorious. Didn't um, someone score four in that game? I want to say Montella, but I might be wrong. But anyway, he scored the fifth, and the keeper was well off his line. He's about thirty yards out, chip. Oh, <laughs> Philippe Albert was applauding that one. Yeah, he, was. I think he had something on his t-shirt then as well, but I can't remember what it, what it was. Up hey, yours. are you watching Philippe Albert? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. In the final, he was a ma man of the match against France. I totally forgot that actually, but um, yeah, that was when we saw him. Great hair. Oh yeah, wonderful. throughout his career, really. Yeah, throughout mm. his career. During the 2000 2001 season, Capello built the team around Totti, and they won the league. They only won the league once with Roma, but incredible achievement, really. Mm. Well, Considering they, well, how that that uh, country has been dominated by Milan, and can mm, I interest yeah. you in a front three of Batistuta, Montea, with Totti just behind? I'm interested. Yeah, Batistuta. They signed him for loads of money, and, he, right. and he brought him. He brought him the title. He scored like 20 goals that season, mm. Batistuta. But they. Um, yeah, they, I think they beat did they beat Inter 3 2 in an amazing game that season as well but it's worth pointing out although he's only won one Scudetto with Roma he has actually finished running up six times he has mm. yeah so he's, he's not as though he's I'm so glad team. that they've won it though yeah I mean it's the equivalent he, he's almost the equivalent of Steven Gerrard in Italy you know that real one club man who's determined to win it with his team except Totti did it you know yeah, yeah. and the, 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 even that he's not done it again that's, that's, that's so good that he's, he has that dual the only sort of crown of his career the only difference with that though is that Liverpool also, obviously won an awful lot of titles Roma haven't won that many in yeah. history yeah, that. no, that's right. I mean, they've won the sort of Coppa Italia once or twice with him. But it's interesting what you say, Jimbo, about him being a, a one sort of show man. I mean, it, Totti, he's been a world class player for Roma for years. Mm. And, you know, he had the chance to go to Real Madrid or maybe Milan as well, where he would have won more things, played with greater players. But uh, he stayed at Roma. And they've not had too many world class players. There's some brilliant players. But he's been so important to that I was team. trying to think of other players they've had yeah. that would be genuinely. Be seen as world class over the years, playing alongside Totti. The only players I could think of were Cafu, yeah. um, Batistuta. Yeah, Batistuta. Batistuta, he was only there for a year. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, Aldair, remember Aldair. him? Well, they retired the number six jersey for, for Aldair, Aldair, have yeah. they? And um, who else was I going to say? Uh, Baptista um, De Rossi De Rossi oh, more De Rossi. recently but I mean he's not really you know he's probably yeah, not up there with those like you know but I, I, there's no doubt in my mind if Totti had gone to you know whatever Madrid Barcelona or, or Madrid Milan. or something yeah. he would he would be absolutely her heralded completely mm. yeah, yeah totally well um, I mean it, you look at his status with the national team and, and he's heralded anyway you know, remember he, almost, he was touting himself with the squad last summer yeah, yeah, and hadn't bothered helping out of any of the qualifications <laughs> yeah. I still fancy it though I still fancy it Lippy if you're interested yeah that would be super <laughs> just the final 
Yeah, yeah, I'll just go for the bottle, yeah. <laughs> I'll take a penalty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll chip it and all. Yeah. So, yeah, so, as, as we said earlier, he played as a second striker um, for a long time, but then under Luciano Spalletti, he kind of deployed Totti as a lone striker, kind of, like, I suppose, like a false nine kind well, of position. So this, well, this is the season when they didn't really play any strikers. Like 4 6 zero. Mm. Yeah. But he was like the furthest man up the field. But that's, oddly enough, um, in 2007, he finished as Serie A's top goal scorer in that formation and the European Golden Shoe as well. I was reading. Mo- was it, that's Ridiculous! It's great, achievement. yeah, it's great. I was reading what Michael Cox was only marking had to say about um, Totti, uh, mm. and he and he pointed out, you know, rightly that you know that season. That's the season they lost seven one to United in right? the Champions League, and it was also the season they beat into six two in the cup final. Mm. Wait, so it was like this amazing formation with just all, <laughs> all these ridiculous score lines because <laughs> apparently it can be undone. That's that formation can Spalletti, I think, found out that formation can be undone quite easily yeah. if you defend very deep or whatever, and you can, and you can pick them off. Mm. But Totti would 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 almost drop really deep to get the ball, and make those late runs into yeah. the box, wouldn't they? I remember he scored quite a few goals in that one. <laughs> but they were really exciting that season. They, they, were. Were, they were an unusual side for Italian football. They were That's very right. very direct, very very attacking, and just sort of. <laughs> Yeah, they played the flair. Beautiful football, yeah, absolutely. Um, he's um, currently the the, uh, the the Serie A's top goal scorer, still active um, goal scorer, fifth all time in the league history with two hundred and seven goals. Again, for a guy who's not played as a kind of a proper striker, yeah, do you reckon if he had played as a proper striker for his whole career, he'd, he'd be he'd be amazing? It's hard to say, isn't it? Because he probably he, wouldn't mm. have been lauded quite so much as well. Though, would just be a goal scorer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, but, he's a learned, shame, but, it? but that's the player he is. You know, he's learned how to play in d- various positions. I'm sure mm. that would have kind of um, broadened his um, tactical horizons, shall we say? Would it, you, you'll come on to him winning the World Cup in a minute, but in 2002, yeah. would he have been sent off by that referee? He was. By yes, the, it the was. The Ecuadorian him, yeah. referee. Yeah. In the, um, in the so game in against the South Korea. game, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, interesting. Um, in the, indeed. So, yes, of course, uh, 2006 World Cup. Um, oh, don't forget him spitting at Christian Paulson in Euro 2004 as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he was a, he's a bit of a hothead, Totti. I mean, yeah. he's very much calmed down as he's got older, as, as people do. But, um, yeah. He he's also spoke. got, like... Um, has he got a couple of joke books out? He has, Something yeah, really that was, weird like that. Well, he's a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF. Does a lot of work with them, and he gave. He, there was <laughs> there was two the, like, big selling joke books that um, a lot of the proceeds went to um, UNICEF and, and, and charities and whatnot. And there were jokes sort of about. I don't know if they were about his teammates or, or from his teammates or something. But it was an odd one, <laughs> very odd one. I find it. I mean, because we, we're, we're notoriously um, well, especially us around this table, we can all only speak one language. So it's difficult to imagine. People who speak another language is being like it's hard to gauge what their sense of humour is like. Yeah, yeah. Like that. And I sort of always think of Totti as being quite a serious bloke. Yeah, that um, takes a very, very serious, dignified man. Yeah, yeah that sort of thing. Well, so it's interesting. Knowing it is Europe and it is Italy, it's probably incredibly right wing. <laughs> yeah. No, Rome, well, Rome, no, no, Lazio are the right wing club in Rome. Rome, yeah. Rome, Rome, Rome haven't got a reputation for that at all. Nazi, on, leave them out. Of Come it. on, <laughs> hey. Berlusconi, yeah, come but on! Yeah, um, no, he did 2006 World Cup, of course, fantastic scenes, and he started, I think, every game. Yeah, he, I remember him getting subbed off after about an hour in the final, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he came off for uh, Quinter or or De, I might have been De Rossi actually. His but, work was done. But he played in the playmaker. They, didn't they? They used like a four three one two or like a four four one one. Totti played sort mm. of in the, as a playmaker role. But he, um, I said he only scored one goal. But the goal he did score was the penalty, as you said, against Jim. Australia. But he put the ball in for Grosso to win that penalty, which okay, probably wasn't a penalty, but it was a great pass, and Grosso beat the fullback and got mm. brought down, and Totti stepped up. Ninety fifth minute as well, a mm. knockout game in the World Cup. You know, didn't think that one, did he? No, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, indeed, and then as we mentioned earlier, uh, in 2010 he won the Golden Foot Award, so his footprints will forever be on the Champions Promenade in Monaco. He was named in, in the team of the tournament in World Cup 2006. Oh yeah, 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 yeah as a yeah. midfielder, you know, very much so. And uh, I'll leave the last words to Daniel De Rossi, um, the teammate of Totti. He says, Totti is a treasure for Roma. He is the greatest player of all time after Roberto Baggio. Slightly biased, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in comes Francesco yeah. Totti. <laughs> 